I've been intrigued by these cheap goggles available on the Hobby King website. So as soon as I saw they were available, I've ordered a set and they've arrived yesterday. So I've just had a quick look inside the box. I thought it would be useful before I start putting things together to actually show you how things arrive, what comes in the box and uh, kind of walk you through how I'm going to put these things together and also do a little bit of a demo once I put them all together of how they work in practice and the extra little bits and pieces you'll need in order to make these work because one of the things they don't have in them is a receiver or um, power so you're going to have to work out those two things for yourself but if you already have something like a diversity receiver or you are able to take video out of another set of goggles what this will allow you to do is to slave these to another pair and provide those goggles to um, a friend to have a look to actually view the flight um, while you're actually in the air now in the actual box itself let me take all of this rubbish out of the screen and you can see what you get lots of bubble wrap obviously First thing you notice when you get it are these two half shells. They're just expanded black polystyrene. There's the bottom bit uh, with the nose cut out. And then you have uh, the top bit that makes up the overall uh, slot. You have the gap in the front for the screen and you have these slots at the side um, that actually are used to focus the different lenses that you've got. So that's the first thing you spot when you open the box. The second thing you'll notice is this little screen. So it comes in this little box, it's on a bit of bubble wrap. It's um, just over four inches in size and on the back of it, it has the standard three R, well, two RCA leads and a power connection. So you've got the sound and video. I'm not sure if it has speakers in it. I'm guessing it does, but we'll play with that. And then you also get a power lead uh, which connects to the red connector on it and at the moment comes with a small plug although I'm pretty sure I'll make a harness up so it can run off the same 3S LiPo that the um, receiver will. So we've got the screen, we've got what you're going to put it in and then you also get an instruction sheet which tells you how to put it together which is pretty straightforward actually. Um, there are foam sticks that go in the side, you mount the lens, you put the lens in it, you put the screen at the front, uh, you attach the, um, the straps and away you go. And all those pieces come in this, uh, this single bag. So what we have here, here we have the strap for the headset, uh, the lenses, which are very flex flexible, actually, it's interesting. Um, the thing you mount the lenses into, um, the side, foam, other bits and bobs. So, first thing I'll do is let's just connect this screen to something and make sure it works and that I can see the output. So the first thing I want to do now is then just check this screen works okay. Uh, we're gonna have to apply power and a video signal. Power to do that, what I've done is actually made a, a little cable up. It's actually um, will plug into the power adapter that's currently on the lead, so I don't have to clip anything. And the other end goes into a balanced tap. So that will be um, go onto this little 3S battery here. Allow me to power that. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do as well is for the video signal, I'm actually going to use um, this little Hobby King SD card. DVR. It's got some flights on there from other bits and bobs I've done and I'll use the remote control just to put something on the screen so we can have a look at that. So first things first, let's power this up and see if we get any video. That looks promising. We have static. Okay, we'll plug the video cable in and now let's power on the SD card recorder. That will boot. There we go. Welcome, it says. Wonderful. And then when that's booted, that's looking really promising. We'll actually stop it recording because it does that automatically. It's the way it's set up. Let's go and see if we can play something back and have a look. Any of these will do. So that's looking nice, actually. The uh, 
the video is probably similar to what it will be as it comes down and the um, the display is reasonably crisp actually I know it's not a particularly high resolution little screen but all of the bits and pieces are nice and clear that looks like we are in business so what I'll do is I'll um, put the clamshell together uh, the screen just goes in the front bit here and um, we'll come back and have a look at it in one piece just uh, halfway through the build now so I've made um, this little holder and scotch taped one of the lenses in place uh, you actually get three in the pack of varying um, magnifications uh, so you, you can see that one is going to give an awful lot of magnification that one gives the least I've gone for the middle one just to try it out um, I'm probably going to try all three of them scotch taping them in each in place uh, they're not marked in any way so there's no way to know which is which I think it's just going to be trial and error for which you like um, so that just fits in, in I've used a little dab of uh, hot glue to put the tabs at each side uh, just be careful when using CA because any fumes that go in if there's any fingerprints um, those fingerprints will go white and the screen uh, just slots into this end piece be aware where the um, cable comes out is the bottom so that needs to go in there um, I did need to cut a little bit of material out of the bridge um, got a big conk so I had to uh, just keep trimming away until it was comfortable without letting too much light in so now what I'm going to do is uh, just try each of these lenses in turn make sure I'm comfortable with it and um, then I'm going to probably double tape the top on and I'll show you the finished product nice thing about this in the little try I've had with it just running video is that because it's one single display rather than two individuals it's been a little bit easier to focus on than standard goggles but we'll see what it's like when it's finished so let me just put it, finish putting it together, play with these lenses, and we'll have one final look. So here they are put together um, with the lens I liked in it. Interestingly, of the three lenses, one seemed very poor quality, which they do talk about in the Hobby King video, but they're right. Uh, one made the screen look like it was an iMac screen, but gave quite a bit of distortion at the edges. Very immersive, but for me, uh, the sacrificing quality was too much and the middle one was perfect and that's what's in here I actually put it together uh, using this kind of tape it's just foam tape double-sided at the front and back and that worked great and actually fitting the head strap all I did was wrap the strap that I pushed through over each time I rolled it over very thin line of hot glue and eventually one last line of hot glue just to hold it into the edge and that seems to work great now having uh, just tried these out and played with them um, I think the main way I'm going to use these as an auxiliary pair of goggles for when I'm flying FPV and people are with me and I haven't got the ground station or it's too bright for people to see the ground station clearly so what this can be used for is you can either run it off a uh, something like an immersion RC receiver and plug that into the video cable so you can see it or the way I think I'm going to use it which I'll demonstrate now is actually using it as a slave display to the goggles that I use most of the time now these are my trusty Fat Shark Predator V2s uh, with a circular polarized um, antenna I have a little rig set up looking out of the window into the back garden so we have a signal and what I'll do is I'll just plug these in so you can see that image mm, don't know if you're going to get that but there you are you kind of um, we're kind of looking out the back garden Not working brilliantly but you can you get the idea there's the top of the parasol and we're looking out through onto the canal um, what you can do now is you can actually power up the Hobby King goggles as we did before with the 3S battery and you can see we've just got static in the screen and the cool thing is is with the Fat Sharks you get a video out cable that looks like this it's a, um, a four three one half millimeter connector going into RCA and we can plug those into the side of the fat sharks 
and then we can plug the bits and pieces into these goggles. So now, off one set, we actually have the picture in the fat sharks, but also we have the picture in these. And you can see it's a beautiful, clear image that you get. I'm trying to move the lens so you can see that. Um, very easy and clear to fly with. So if you were, you know, the second person at the field and you wanted to see what I was seeing, these would be a fantastic way to do that. So I think these were going to go into my backpack for when I'm out FPV flying. In summary, I think these for the money are fantastic. Actually, they might not be the, you know, the most uh, visually appealing things on the planet, but for less than £25, I think they do an amazing job. So hopefully for those of you out there who are looking to get a pair of these, um, hopefully that's answered some of the questions. They're dead easy to put together. The quality is good enough. And um, if you already have some form of receiver, or already have some goggles and you want to be able to give another set of goggles to a mate to watch what you're doing, this is a really good way of doing it. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe. My help out channel is available if you have any questions and happy flying.